primitivism and cubism, back to basics policy. In the 20th century, the art of uncivilized tribes of Africa, South America, and Australia became popular in Europe. France had established a colony in Africa, and many travelers brought artifacts, household items, statues, and figurines to Europe. The art of naive, unspoiled cultures inspired modern artists to create new styles. They romanticized the traditional art of colonized lands because those cultures were not spoiled by materialism, still had access to the inner child, and could create innocent, truthful works. Thanks to the discovery of naive culture's art, the European art movement appreciated contemporary artists without artistic education and recognized them as talented painters. The first movement that reacted to these processes was Fauvism. Maurice de Vlaminck, Henri Matisse, and Anne de Rain wanted to explore the same primal feelings, thoughts, and intentions they felt in African masks. They used bright color block combinations to show it artistically, which seemed vulgar and garish to modern art critics. Fascinated by the naive art of distant cultures, artists also began to notice primitivism artists. The most famous example is Henri Rousseau, a simple, poorly educated Frenchman who worked as a tax collector and made artworks as a hobby. In 1886, he participated in an open exhibition where the Parisian artistic community noticed him. His fantasy, sincerity, and spontaneity melted the hearts of modern creators, and Rousseau became a hero to them. For example, Picasso bought Rousseau's painting and kept it with him for the rest of his life. Pablo Picasso and Georges Braque were the main Cubism movement initiators. They were also impressed by the popular naive art and expanded the ideas of Cezanne in their paintings. Cubism became an art where an artist simultaneously depicts an object from every conceivable angle. In 1905, Albert Einstein presented his theory of relativity. As the theory of colors influenced Surat's art, the idea of the relative nature of time and space significantly impacted Picasso's and Braque's paintings. They started to depict what could be seen and what is known to exist, but not immediately visible. For the first time in history, art was no longer a simulation of reality. It became an object itself. Did you know, Picasso famously stated that he spent for years honing his painting skills until he could emulate Raphael, but a lifetime perfecting his ability to paint like a kid.